camp been like five practices in, but what's this camp been like with just the, uh, the level of talent you're facing landing across from me every day? Oh, man, it's been great. Um, you know, going to those guys, uh, you know, like Street, you know, Givens, all those guys, Kerr, uh, they brought in a lot of guys, you know, they give us a lot of competition every day. And it's been fun, you know, just learning from those guys, you know, uh, getting feedback from them as well. Uh, it's been it's been awesome, honestly. In, in what ways can a veteran center like Alex Mack make you better or make your job a little bit easier? Oh, man, just having that stability right there, um, it's it, cha it changes everything. You know, uh, building chemistry every day and, um, it's just great to know that you come in every day, you have that confidence about your work. What have been your early impressions of Aaron Banks? And what do you remember about the challenges of, of being a rookie guard? Oh, man, you know, obviously, you know, when I was a rookie, you know, the challenge, you know, learning the playbook, uh, adjusting to the speed of the game. But uh, he's doing actually a great job of, of everything. Uh, he stays in the playbook. Um, and he's he's big big cat out there, too, man. So he's moving. Uh, nimble feet, man. I, I love him. I love his approach to work every day, and uh, he's doing a great job. Did you know Zach Kerr at all before he got here? No, I haven't. Uh, I also didn't know he was Jamaican either, so that was also fun to know. And it seems like he has a little bit of energy to him and does some talking out there on the field. Oh, yeah. You know, he's, he's always running. He's one of those cats that's just always running. You know, every play you see him sprint down the field, so I, I think it's pretty cool. Michael Glitchy was telling us the other day how last year he was really hard on himself at, at times last year. And took some steps in the offseason to help himself. Did, did you notice that uh, during last year, him, him maybe struggling with that? And did you step in and, and try to help him at all? Man, you know, the, the challenge with the pandemic last year just kept everyone so separate. So uh, especially within the offensive line, um, I think uh, that was one of the hardest things we had to deal with, everyone being separate. We couldn't hang out. We couldn't do anything post-practice. So in those challenges, you know, it's, it's hard to, to get to spend time with your teammate. You know, offensive line, everything's built on chemistry. So uh, when we were posed on that with the league and the challenges we had during the pandemic just made it very tough. What, what kind of ways, I mean, were you guys doing group FaceTimes? I mean, did other, I mean, outside of the kind of the mandatory Zoom calls, was there anything that you could do like that? I mean, like no physical contact, you couldn't do anything, you know? And we had the Zoom and everything, and we're doing the Zoom in, in the whole whole season pretty much. But other than that, nothing. What happened were you guys able to kind of reestablish that chemistry OTAs and now just I mean, you can just tell with OTAs, uh, guys wanted to be with each other. You know, just the amount of guys that came back. You know, guys wanted to be with each other, to physically be there and hang out with each other. And, you know, that's what it takes to be a team. You know, that chemistry, especially in the offensive line, just hanging around each other and feeling each other there, their presence, it, it changes everything. Do you, feel like with that extra, do you feel like with that extra time, like you guys are building a chemistry much faster? Oh, of course, yes. I mean, especially in the offensive line, just the time spent next to each other. It's a time building in chemistry. What's been your impression of this interior defensive line group? It feels like it's probably as deep as it's ever been. Yeah, yeah, feels pretty deep. Guys rotating in um, really every play, you know, getting different looks from, you know, like Street, Kerr, you know, uh, DJ Jones, all those guys. Uh, Kinlaw was in there in practice today. Um, man, you know, it's, it's awesome just having those guys that you can different looks or different guys. You as somebody that they like to go against to work on their game. Who's who's your guy? Who's the guy that you like to see or you know a matchup against? Uh, on your Man, you know, um, I look at everybody differently. You know, um, I'm excited to go against Kinlaw every day of practice. I'm excited going against DJ every day of practice. I'm excited against Kerr every day of practice. Each player have their different aspects about them that you know that I would like to challenge. You know, and that's how I approach my work every day when it comes to working with the interior D line. Been like having an international player in Alfredo Gutierrez in the offensive line group, and uh, what's he like as a teammate? It's been it's been pretty fun, you know. Um, you know, it's being an immigrant myself. You know, I was born in Jamaica. You know, it's, it's kind of easy to connect with him at first, um, and then you know him his interaction with the group. It's been just like seamless. Like he's amazing with the group, and you now a really really solid guy. And he comes to work every day too, so he's out there. He's busting his butt. Ross Dolly just mentioned Trey. He's impressed with how he commands the huddle, calls and plays with confidence. Have you seen a lot of growth from OTAs just to the beginning of the Yeah, practice? yeah. It just seems like everything is just moving a lot, you know, slower for him. He's he's out there moving fast, not thinking much, and you know, he just goes to show, man. He's been putting in some work. Good. Yeah, how, how does that show up? Like, like can you tell? Like what, what just the, just things? how he's moving his eyes, you can just tell, man. You, like making reads and stuff like that, you, it's, you can tell he, he's been putting his uh, time in his playbook. Is it hard to 
hard not to pay attention or talk about what's happening in, in the quarterback room? What do you mean? Like with all of us out here talk about it ad nauseum, and then Ross was just in here saying he doesn't think about the quarterback situation at all. I would, I would guess that that's a stock answer, but is it difficult to to not talk about it, or is, or is it a conversation that you guys have a lot? I mean, we're here in training camp. You know, we're here trying to win games, so it's not much to talk about. You know, every every guy has a challenge of getting better every day, so uh, that's a challenge. Is training camp, and that's been our focus. I feel so. Thanks, guys. You gotta take it easy. Did you enjoy that video? Make sure to check out these other ones.